When Azul first came out, I was hyped. I thought it looked awesome and I quickly bought a copy. After playing it, however, I quickly realized this game wasn't for me. The first main issue I had is that this game seemed to be just as much about sticking someone else with the bad pieces as it was trying to make sure you get the pieces you need. The second issue I had is that this game was so linear. Rather than living in the moment of your turn, it becomes more chess-like, where you're thinking about the next four, five, six, seven turns. If I choose this, then my opponent does that. So then I could do this, and they'll do that. And you get kind of stuck there, mathing out the next several turns, who will get which tiles until they run out, all in order to just make your move. Now obviously there are a lot of fans of chess, and that might be exactly why people like the original Azul. But it's just not what I personally like in a board game. So I found myself pretty disappointed with Azul, and after a few plays, it got shelved. Azul Summer Pavilion, however, is everything I wanted the original Azul to be. First of all, it offers a lot more different ways to score. Looking at your board, you won't be able to do everything here. For example, you get bonus points for completing each one of these colored stars. And each color star is worth a different amount of bonus points. However, you also get bonus points if you can cover all of the number one spots in each star, as well as covering each number two spot, each number three spot, or each number four spot. So you'll have to find that balance between completing stars or covering all the colors. The way you lay tiles side by side also affects how you score. So overall, you have a lot more agency in this game compared to the original Azul. The other factor that I really like is that getting stuck with tiles is much less of a factor in this game. These four slots in the corners of your board, those allow you to bank tiles for a later round. Can't place that last green? No problem. Place it there and you have it to use the next round. You also have a lot more choices of how to use your tiles overall. Laying a tile in the number one spot for a color will cost me that one tile. Laying a tile in the number two slot, however, will cost me two tiles of that one color, one to lay, one to place in the bank. Similarly, placing a tile in the number three spot will cost me three tiles of that color, laying a tile and the other two go to the bank, and so on and so forth. So let's say I had five red tiles. I could choose to spend all five tiles to buy this expensive number five spot, the rest of these go to the bank, or I could spend two tiles to place one in the number two spot, and then I could spend three tiles to place another in the number three spot. Or I could spend one tile to place it in the number one spot and the other four to place it in the number four spot. But what if my red star is already full and I've still got red tiles? Well, I could place my tiles in one of the spots in this center star, which supports all colors. I have so many options how I can spend and place the tiles that I have. On top of that, Summer Pavilion also has designated wild tiles. Each round will have a different wild color. Did you need to draft six purple tiles for that big score in this round, but only able to draft five? No problem, use that green wild token this round to count as your sixth purple. And if that wasn't enough, you can work towards spaces on your board that give you an additional reward where you can draft one to three tiles from the bonus pool. Azul Summer Pavilion is so good. It fixed all the issues I had with the original Azul. It's everything I wanted the original Azul to be and more. Whether you're a fan of the original Azul or not, you've got to give Azul Summer Pavilion a try. I highly, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, and thank you so much for the likes and subscribes. I hope you found this video useful if you're thinking about trying Azul or Azul Summer Pavilion, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.